today, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, and pizza dough in here to make the best pizza oven I've made yet. Ready? Spiker, how are you? Yeah, you wanna help me with this? Just a little hammering. Okay, let's proceed. Go to the store and get yourself the really long pieces of rebar. Okay, if you buy the short ones, it gets kind of expensive. These are cheap. Ah, oh, perfect, there we go. So use the first one as your guide and you're good to go. So the size, for the size barrel, I have, I'm gonna cut eight of these. And uh, all right, um, I can't hear myself talk. I'm jumping ahead of myself because what I'm, I'm, I'm doing a lot of assuming when I cut this and you know what assuming does to me. <laughs> Let's set up the barrel. What's up girls? Hi. May I ask? I love my cart. Uh, I missed the beginning. What are we doing here? So if you've watched Garden Fork, I've made all sorts of different kinds of things with fire and cooking and pizza ovens, right? Right. And I made one out of a drum and it, people were really fascinated by it and they gave a bunch of different ideas. And I've been thinking about this for way too long and I finally decided today, today. at the end of the summer season to build the best pizza oven yet out of a drum. That drum. Yeah. That's why we're here today. <laughs> I did not know. Surprise. Surprise. Are we having pizza later? Maybe. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to build a brick arch in here. How do you do that? Build it upside down and then flip the drum upside down. What about the gravity part? That's why I got the rebar. So I started to cut the rebar before I had measured the brick circumference is the word. Clay brick, by the way, argue about it in the comments. <laughs> I'm so tired of the experts telling me what I'm doing wrong with clay brick. So don't get me started. So look at that, isn't that cool? So imagine that upside that as an arched roof, right? Yeah, I can imagine it. What about the gravity? I'm gonna build the first layer and then we'll see if it works. Because we're all about, hey, let's try this and see what happens. Ooh, this might work, hold on. So then I, I already cut the rebar. This is right. I, I've been thinking about this all summer and it's been a crazy summer as we all know. And I thought, I'm gonna finally build this. Don't know my own strength. <laughs> or measurements. <laughs> See, there's two pieces of rebar for every brick. Don't stick your head in there. <laughs> so this is the arch. Uh-huh. Gravity experts don't say anything. <laughs> no, but just like, okay, so I gotta make the rebar a little bit longer. But if this works, it'll be great. 
Is that better? Hey. Oh, that's heavy. This is how they built civilization. It is. It is how they built civilization. <laughs> and look at us now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a great civilization. <laughs> at least we're above ground. So. Oh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> What's wrong? Look at that. Do you care that the... Wait, we're not done. Oh. So, oh, look at that. Wow. It's like... It's, no, you don't understand. This is huge. It's like you built civilization. Oh, look how that's kind of held itself. So this is a brick arched pizza or bread oven now. The fire's gonna be below. The heat's gonna come up through the brick and off the back, I'll show you. This is our baking surface. This is where the heat's gonna reflect down. It worked. What if you tap on the top a little? Is that all secure? Ooh. We're not in earthquake zone. Did you see the side move a little yeah, bit? Yeah, so... <laughs> I just wanted... I didn't know if you saw it. All right, so I'm going to build the whole thing out. We're not in an earthquake zone. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we'll see what happens. I love that. <laughs> he really does. This is like genuine happiness, y'all. <laughs> How unusual for me. <laughs> I haven't had a Xanax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Beryl. <laughs> All right, start from the back and build it out. We want a gap at the end of the barrel, the solid end of the barrel, for the hot air to come, un you know, the fire's gonna be under and to swoop up and come across the top. I spaced these and there's like this much gap, so I'm just gonna cheat this brick a little forward like that. I just wanna, I don't want like a two inch gap back there. It'll, this will all make sense. Maybe. I'm gonna tap the, oh, tap the rebar in, so. So I'm gonna put this here. Oh, that one goes in better. It's kind of hard to see, but there's a gap at the very back there. That's gonna become important. It's just, you think about stuff and then so many times it, it doesn't work or you didn't think of that thing. And this, this might actually work, you know? All right, let's see how this fits. Uh, it's definitely tighter. Yeah, much better. Much better. So it depends, I'm yelling, right? Sorry. It just depends on your on your drum. Your, but you, you might have to trim them a little bit. I, I in my dreams, I'm gonna buy a, a metal chop saw. You know, you're probably yelling at the video right now, Eric, why don't you have a metal chop saw? Cause, Cause I don't, I don't have everything. I just use what I got, and that's what I think, I would hope you would do too, because if you if you could buy, I bought this at the farm supply store, the barrel, it was like 30 bucks, and then the rebar was cheap, and the brick was free from a demolition site, so don't get me started about the brick. So just, I'm gonna see how it's kind of at an angle, I'll just pull this out. Nice. Okay, don't look at this mess, but somewhere in here of this half done project is this. There you go. Nice. Ah. 
you can't see it, but the sawhorses are kind of flexing in the mud. wasn't good. Um, I don't know what happened. Here we go. Let's uh, put it back. All right, I'm going to think about this and we're going to come back. here is that when you grind off the rivets you've got built-in holes to put the bolts through right ow rebar falling on you so I just did um, I just fine-tuned this I laid out the bricks and then if one brick was you know, if a brick was jutting a little higher to its uh, next door neighbor, I just, some bricks are thinner than others. It's just, bricks are imperfect. Um, if you make a garden fork joke about that. But anyway, um, oh, I see one I gotta fix. Okay, but you want, you want this to be a pretty smooth line as it goes into the back there. I'm trying to figure out if I need another row of brick here, is this... That'll be a big fire area and then the floor of the pizza oven will be there. And it's nice to have a short, a low ceiling in a pizza oven. Let me see that. But I'm thinking, does that make more sense structurally? So, I don't want to dare move this thing. Ow, mosquitoes. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add another row. All right, grinding, cutting, cutting success. That's, that's just kind of a, an old chop saw I had and I put a metal cutting blade on it. It is not perfect, I know but it works. So I have all the bars in. Now we're gonna lay, well, we're gonna attach that bracket. So the bracket has pre-drilled holes, which quarter 20 screws fit in really nicely. So this is gonna slide in here. And that is really easy to drill. I don't think I can video that because it's pretty darn dark back there, but I'm gonna use step drill bits. We've talked about these in our previous pizza videos, fire pit videos too. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to see if there's a dimple on the outside. Let's go see. No. Darn, I get to stick my head back in there. Okay. That was easy, not. Oh, I could take off that. I could take the ear protection off, couldn't I? I, dro I dropped the lock washer. 
it's on. Nice. I love these, this drill set. I'll link to this in my, all my tools below the video, okay? Let go of the locking bricks as they were, kind of like launching the Saturn V for the first time. Again, two people would really help with this. Are you gonna help me start the fire, kids? Ready? All right, let's go over here. Vegetable oil and cardboard work pretty good. So last night I did I call it a primary burn, initial burn. This, this paint, when it heats up, it's gonna burn off, so you kinda don't want your pizza smelling like paint. Um, so I always just fire this puppy up and let it burn off whatever it needs to burn off. Now, pizza time. Hi. I could be hand puppeting. <laughs> Notice here all the white that means it got really hot. That's good, because we burned off all the paint and stuff. All the way in the back, the bricks are white, and that is a classic sign that you've hit kind of a super heat with the brick, which is very cool. We're down to coals here. This is, I can't put my hand in here without a glove on. I meant to put this on a stick, but. Ah. Oh, wow, been. they're even white up here. Spiker is a, uh, Spiker's licking the camera operator while she's filming. She's waiting for pizza. <laughs> um, the rebar, when it hits a certain temperature, starts to warp. So um, watch out. Oh, wow. we got a maple leaf. Oh. <laughs> Not the greatest pizza dough, okay? That's just, that's just the world of Eric. Because Don is better than perfect. And now we're going to make the perfect garden for pizza. You ready? Ooh, there's some of that white. That is like hot. How long do you think? Not Wait. long. <laughs> oh, not long because I smell it already. Oh, it's smelling crispy. Oh, wow, look at it go. I think we're burning the crust. But it's stable. I put a lot of uh, cornmeal on the bottom of the dough so it would um, Burn. Slide off of here, but maybe that was too much cornmeal because I think that's what's burning. So, wow, but the top is going as well. So the hardest part for me in the ovens I've made is the top heat because we can always, we can bake the crust, but enough top heat. So that's why I put the brick arch in like this and the heat from the fire goes to the back and comes up across. I'm excited as you can tell. I can tell. This is actually quite excited for Eric. <laughs> Um, will someone send me some longer tongs, please? We're making pizza. <laughs> <laughs> These these guys clearing the trees along the road, and they've been staring at me all after. They're like, "What's that guy doing?" <laughs> I always want to rush this, you know. And I'm like, "Oh, it's done," because I've burnt them before. Remember the burning log that rolled onto the pizza? That's a good one. That that will link to the end. There's, I have a bunch of these pizza oven videos. And, yeah. Bad log incident. You got a lot of background noise today. I got what? the tree guys. What's going on? <laughs> I was whomping up the fire and they were like looking. And then they offered me some firewood because <laughs> they're cutting the trees. You want some pizza? Are you waiting? Oh, this pizza takes way too long. Oh, okay. I think it's time. No, oh, okay. My whole body's quite warm, so. <laughs> 
Sweet. Ooh, yeah. Oh, look at that crust. It's not even burnt. <gasps> it just smelled burnt. That looks like dollar pizza crust. Oh, it was just those little corn things oh, that were burnt. Oh, geez, I just dumped all the cheese off of here. <laughs> okay. That's a different kind of pizza. So, <laughs> if I can do this, you can do this, all right? Um, there'll be more videos floating right here. If you want to learn more about me, there's text below with links to all sorts of cool stuff. But if I can make a barrel pizza oven, you can. So you want to spend some more time together? Right there. Some I videos. I want to learn more about you. Yeah. <laughs> See you in the next video.